What's this mayor challenge? Uh, Fitzy's looking for ways to put Dog River on the map. Yeah, whenever election time rolls around, he starts to pretend he cares. How can you guys be so cyclical? That's cynical. Maybe he meant we talk in circles. We do that sometimes. Yeah, Wanda, if you weren't so cyclical, you'd know that. <laughs> so let me tell you my idea. It's kind of big. Wait. Why don't you think about it before you say it out loud? Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, I thought about it. You know how in Regina they have all those painted pig statues and Toronto has all those painted statues of mooses? Moose? No, there's more than one. Well, anyway, I was thinking, uh, you know, we should do the same thing here. Do what, confuse plurals? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no we, we should get local people to paint uh, statues of prairie dogs. You know, I hate to say it, but I think Hank is onto something. Me too. Good job, Hank. Yeah, that's the best idea you've ever had. Really? You like it? No, but it's the best idea you've ever had. When do we have to meet the mayor at 8 in the morning? He's in campaign mode. He's different when he's campaigning. He's a feral beast, a hunter, a shark, an uncaring eating machine. No one's even running against him. Just remember, we're part of the team. We're the police. We should be separate. You a spy? For who? No one's running against him. I'm keeping an eye on you. Quinton, Kelly, what's the word on the streets? Don't you mean street? I haven't heard anything, sir. This election is yours. I guess my strategy of no one running against me is working. Hey, I got an idea for improving the town. You're moving? Jeez, I don't normally slam Hank, but it's just so easy. Uh, j just let me tell you my idea. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. Wow, maybe everyone in town's right. This is just a cyclical ploy. Don't you mean cynical? If he means it happens every election, it actually is cyclical. Maybe we should hear him out. If we pretend to listen to the common man, it could put us over the top. Over the top of what? So that's your big idea to put Dog River on the map, a casino? People love them. They got the machines, they go bing, bing, bing. Guys in the vests, ringette wheels. A casino's a bad idea. Name one bad thing about casinos. People become problem gamblers and lose all their money. If you take a problem gambler's money away, problem solved. See? <laughs> you just don't think things through. <laughs> that would explain the ring on my finger. And everyone gets to paint them, just like in Toronto with the moose. Uh, mooses. You know, of all the ideas I've heard, yours is the first. Let's do it. Really? I'm gonna order some big gophers to paint. I said prairie dogs, and, and I want them to be regular size. But then they'll only be this big. That's what I want. Now... How do we keep them from squirming around? I think they're statues. Good. Problem solved. I've got a good idea for the marriage challenge, but I've got a reputation as a... Curmudgeonly coot? No. Fly off the handle crank? No. Mm, lovable eccentric. What was the first one? <laughs> What's your idea? Oh, it's that we get a casino. But Fitchy's not going to listen to me, so if you tell him it's your idea, he might do it. Well, there's only one problem. I don't want a casino here. You're not listening. You just have to pretend that you want it. Uh-huh. Maybe we should build a subway system. Or a series of canals. I could drive a gondola. You mean like a gondolier? No, oh, like a regular-sized gondola. What about a casino? A regular-sized one? It's Lacey's idea. She says we should build a casino. Really? It doesn't sound like something Lacey would say. In fact, just the other day... Hey, Lacey, you want to play some pinochle for matchsticks? Uh, how many matchsticks? Is it legal? Maybe we shouldn't. It could lead to pennies and then who knows what. No. <laughs> this is a bad idea. She's not exactly Doyle Brunson. No, she's really into it. She wanted me to tell the mayor, but I don't think he'll listen to me. Because he knows a bad idea. It leads to crime and poverty, mediocre magicians, lame hypnotists. Yeah. So which one of you is going to go tell him? 
I know Brent and Wanda wanted to be here to present their idea of building the casino. Oscar, I'm in the middle of a campaign. Please, shut up. Don't you tell my husband to shut up. You can't mouth off at me like that. He just told you to shut up. I haven't got time for this. I've got a press conference. First of all, welcome to the press and to my fellow citizens, and especially Hank, who had this great idea to paint big gophers. I think he wanted prairie dogs. Yeah, regular size. The mayor doesn't have time to second guess his decision. He didn't even first guess his decision. Well, he can't. He's a tiger, a scorpion, a thing with horns. Hank's right. It should be regular sized gophers. No, no, prairie dogs. Prairie dogs? You're crazy. Prairie dogs make sense. They should just be big prairie dogs. Look, to make everyone happy, I'm ordering a crate of fiberglass gophers and prairie dogs. Big and small. But don't worry, they're statues, so they'll be much easier to paint. Excuse me, everyone. I also have an announcement to make. I'll be running for mayor on the platform of bringing a casino to Dog River. Big or small? Can we paint it? I'm already sorry I did this. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> that was my sister. You know the one I never talk about? Sure, I remember you not mentioning her. Yeah, well, she works for Canada AM. And she wants some people in town to be interviewed by the show about this whole prairie dog thing. Really? Wow, that network will put anything on the air. Seems a little town in Saskatchewan is in the middle of an election. The hot button issue? Prairie dogs versus gophers. Well, with a story like that, you know the fur's gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined now by some folks from Dog River. Let's start with Hank Yarbo. Hank, when you proposed this idea, is it fair to say that people didn't gopher it? Uh... No, they liked the idea. Okay, no, but did they go for it? Yes, they went for it, Seamus. But what's all the fuss? Are, are gophers and prairie dogs that different? Well, from a, from a taxonomy point of view, prairie dogs are members of the squirrel family, while gophers are members of the family Geomidae. Now, of course, I do not want to get into a big discourse on morphology. Oh, would that we could. <laughs> Emma Leroy, you're running for mayor. Now, what's your position on gophers and prairie dogs? Oh, I don't have one. I'm running on a platform of bringing a casino to Dog River. Why do you want a casino? I don't. Uh, the mayor told my husband to shut up. Well, thanks. It sounds like a whale of a tail. No, Beverly, see, all my puns had to do with gophers. Oh, lighten up, Seamus. Fun facts about Greek vacations coming up next. Oh, uh, did you know that the National Anthem of Greece has 158 verses? Just putting it out there. Can I get a campaign donation? How much? Oh, I don't know, like 10 grand? Hey, Wanda. Hey. So? 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 What did you think of the show? The show? Well, I, I thought the show was good. You know, Emma seemed reasonable and confident. Hank, you were a little crazy, and you came off as very knowledgeable. Did you actually watch the show? Or are you bluffing based on the stuff you think you already know about us? How did I do? Spot on. Ten grand isn't that much. I mean, the jet fuel alone... No. License and registration, ma'am. What's this about? Are you trying to intimidate me? You're messing with forces, powerful forces. You play with fire, it'll bite you. What are you doing, Davis? She was speeding. I was parked. She was loitering. I'm sorry, Emma. I don't know what got into him. Thanks, Garen. Thanks, Sergeant Stupid. Letting you off with a warning. Is that Fitzy lurking? You just ticked off the rhinoceros. You Brent Leroy? I wish. Okay, yes, I am. Rob Bennett. We represent the pump-and-go chain. No, you don't. 
A little marshmallow guy riding a donut represents a pump and go chain. That's an oil filter riding on a tire. Oh, okay. Because I always thought black donut. What's that about? <laughs> this prairie dog gopher thing. Really starting to take off. Corner Gas is poised to do some serious business here. We'd like to help you take it to the next level by having you join the Pump and Go family. Well, I don't know. This business has been in our family for a lot of years. You know, I totally understand. Think it over. Here's our offer. You forget a decimal point? There's no decimal point, Brent. Wow, that is a lot of money. Mind you'll probably have to change this patch on my shirt. Well, you get a whole new shirt. Holy crap, really? You can't sell corner gas. Yeah. Why would you want a huge wad of cash when you can have a gas station with Hank in it? This is a big decision, Brent. It's not just chili cheese dog or no chili cheese dog. That's no decision. Chili cheese dog. Think about it, Juan. If Brent sells, you're going to have to wear one of them pump and go uniforms. Brent, you can't sell the gas station. It's a job that I love. By the way, I can't work tomorrow. Got to talk to Seamus and Bev. Bev? You're on a first syllable basis with Bev? Man, I wish I never had this prairie dog idea. Hank, you shouldn't feel guilty because you had a good idea. You should feel shocked or bewildered, but not guilty. Hey, Brent, have you talked to your dad about this? I mean, it was his gas station, too. Maybe he has some sentimental attachment to it. Oh, I never thought of that. How dare you? How dare you keep the pump and go people waiting? Sell it. Sell it now. Get them on the phone. What do you think, Mom? It's not my business. No, I don't mean that in a none of my business sense. The business literally isn't mine. Hey, shouldn't you be out campaigning? Why? I don't want to win. Maybe I'll get to meet that little pump and go muffin with the hula hoop. <laughs> There's an oil filter on a tire, don't you know anything? And now it's time for our weekly look at all things Dog River with Wanda Dollard. Hi, Wanda. Hey, Bev. It's Beverly. Hiya, Shamey. <laughs> Wanda, <laughs> you are a delight. But back to Dog River. I understand you had a very special visitor come to town this week. Mr. Prime Minister, what do you make of this controversy? Now look, I like prairie dogs and I like gophers, but sadly neither were given the respect they deserve under the previous Liberal government. If you had to choose one, which would it be? Well, I guess I'd pick prairie dogs. No, no gophers. I meant to say gophers. That's the first time a sitting Prime Minister has visited Dog River since Diefenbaker in 1963. Really? That's great, Wanda. Both Conservative Prime Ministers from the West. Well, we'll check in with you next week. Oh, but I've got more fun facts. We know. My polling's got me at 12%. You're polling. Well, I just asked a couple people, but, yeah. Ah. Hey. I'm glad you're here. I'm selling corner gas. This, this is terrible. It, it's awful. I'm, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Well, I won't have what he's having. Welcome back to Canada AM. So we go now to Dog River for the election results with Wanda Dollard. Well, it's official. Emma Leroy is the new mayor of Dog River. So the casino idea was obviously popular. No. It's just a big go for a little go for a big prairie dog, little prairie dog. Votes all cancelled each other out. So what will Emma Leroy bring to the office of mayor? Honesty. She openly ran on a platform that she didn't believe in, and that struck a chord with voters. They knew what they weren't getting. Thanks for this, Wanda, and um, nice shirt, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> Beverly? Well, it looks like the shark lost its bite. The tiger lost its stripes. The unicorn lost its corn. I thought his concession speech was very brave. You're all rubes. Rubes! Well, you won't have old Fitzy to kick around. Could someone give me a boost? Come in. Hi, Emma. Oh, hi, Karen. Congratulations, Emma. 
That's Mayor Leroy to you. Here's a check. Oh, I, I thought it'd be bigger. Like one of these deals. Great. Well, we're done. Well, better get at it. I'm gonna work harder for you guys than I ever did for myself. That's actually not saying much. Actually, your services won't be needed. What? By the way, you said your stores were operated by previous owners. Meet the new manager of the Dog River Pump and Go. Have a nice day, jackass. And so I've decided to promote Karen to chief of police. Oh, wow. Emma, I, I don't know what to say. You say she's crazy and you can't accept the position. Stand down, constable. You should work out just fine. Well, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> she's so beautiful. Thank you, Emma. You're welcome. No, not that. So, you're from Dog River, huh? Dog River. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I guess I'm retired now. Finally get a chance to sit back and read some comic books. Yeah, take a few years off. Then get yourself a green hat and start being cranky to people. I have no choice. It's genetic. Kind of worried about Wanda, though. I don't know what she'll do without the gas station. And filling in for the vacationing Beverly Thompson is Wanda Dollard. Hi, Wanda. Thanks, Shamie. <laughs> wow, that tie really brings out your eyes. <laughs> Today, my exclusive interview with former President Bill Clinton. Uh, I'm not on vacation. Security? Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you. I'm selling to... What? Pump and Go gave me a really big check. Oh, I knew they had those. So you're loaded too. This is great. Grab a green hat, we'll hang out together. I can't. I'm going back to Toronto. I'm going to open up a restaurant there. What? When? Today. You're opening a restaurant today? No, I'm leaving today. What? And you were going to tell me... Now. Remember, I just said now is as good a time as any. Yeah, right. I, I have a hard time with chronology. This is all my fault. If I hadn't had this prairie dog idea, none of this would have happened. Aw, oh, don't say that, Hank. We're all thinking it, but don't say it. It's me, what a big surprise. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Hank. Bye, Lazy. <laughs> Goodbye, you jackass. <laughs> Goodbye, Lazy. Bye, Mayor Leroy. I guess this is it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've talked to you. Nothing wrong, just nothing ever goes as planned. Many times I thought I'd come. Didn't have your number in my hand. I know it's true. You'd never do the same. Don't just stand there looking like a tool. Well, don't just stand there looking like a tool. Huh? What? We wanted you to think about your idea before you told us. Not just stand there staring into space and then start humming a blue rodeo song. Oh, wow. So, so does this mean Lacey hasn't moved away and Wanda, you're not co-hosting Canada AM? That's right, Dorothy. Oh, but tonight I am filling in for Lloyd Robertson. Why would Wanda co-host Canada AM? Because your sister's a producer on it. 
Oh, well, that is very interesting, considering I don't have a sister. Are you sure? Because Hank did daydream it. Or is this the dream? It's real. I'm just glad my idea didn't actually tear the town apart. What was your idea, Hank? And don't think about it before you tell us. Okay, I, I thought maybe we could put statues of prairie dogs around Dog River and paint them like the mooses, I mean moose in Toronto or the cows in Calgary. That's not a bad idea. Every home and business could have their own gopher. No, I said prairie dogs. Technically, they're different. Giant prairie dogs would be cool. Or giant gophers. No, I was thinking small, actual size. Are you nuts? Big gophers. Small prairie dogs. I'm with Emma. Oh, man, it's happening again. It's happening again! Whoa, is he okay? Do you think maybe we should go after him? He seems really worked up. Is that banana loaf? Oh, yeah. You guys want some? Oh, yeah. yeah. 